Season two. Oh boy. What is going on, everyone? The start of season two. We are finally here. Happy August to each and every one of you. Today, I am with a very very special guest. This guy has roughly 120, 130 hours. He's a plat to a man on a mission, and not only does he save lives, but he saves goals as well. As one of the most professional male nurses I know, Haglobless Lip, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Not too bad. Let's just jump into these questions right away. We got the nice. gameplay on in the background. A little bit of a new format, but whatever. No big deal. Everyone will pick it up as we go. Question number one. Haglobless. Lip. Lippy. What type of game mode or modes do you prefer? Ones, twos, threes, anything different? I'd probably say twos. Okay. I, I like twos. It's a little less going on, but uh, it's easier to communicate better and... Uh, it's just usually what I played. We're back in it. Okay. That's fair. Question number two. Let's keep it moving. What is your overall style in Rocket League? Uh, overall style. I I am more just I go for the ball at all times. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of a striker mentality. I want to put that ball in the back of the net yep. no matter where I am. Yep, yep. Fantastic. Do you think your style has changed over time or have you always kind of been that way in your hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty hours? That's just always how I've been since I started. I, I don't like just sitting back and, uh, you know, playing defense. I'm more like a go get them type person. Perfect. We make people named Dirty Gertie do that for us. Wow. Shout out to season <laughs> one. Um, do you warm up before you play? No, I just kind of hop in. My friends like to warm up, but I just kind of get in and get going. Okay, fantastic. And that'll transition easily into question number four, part A, B, and C. Do you ever do any training? If so, is it free play? Do you do packs? Is there anything you would recommend if you do do training? I've tried the the training on here. It's just I I can't get into it. I'm more just kind of like train as I play online. Okay. That's how I've gotten better. There is no better experience than being in it right then. Question number five. Hagloblis. I love saying that. Tactical Whiffer. <laughs> um... <laughs> Rolls off the tongue. Yeah, it yeah. does. Before we jump into the tougher questions here, do you ever watch anyone else play Rocket League? What I mean is, do you ever watch streamers on Twitch? Do you watch anything on YouTube? Anything at all? Not Rocket League, no. I don't watch too much on Twitch or YouTube. Uh, I really don't know too many pros out there. I haven't really tried to look into it. The only people I've watched is you and your wonderful YouTube channel. I appreciate that more than you know. Let's start question number six. We'll jump into these tougher ones. This is maybe maybe the biggest one to make you think. What got you into Rocket League? Hmm. Well, it's probably my just my friends playing it. Uh, I was always more playing pub almost every day, but... Uh, my friend Zach was playing Rocket League and he wanted me to play. I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. And I just kind of got into it. It's really fun, really exciting, and uh, love it. Do you, do you still play pub more than you play Rocket League? No, I definitely play Rocket League more. I'm terrible at pub, so <laughs> I'm less terrible on this, so that's why I play more. Relatable. Very, very relatable. <laughs> Question number yeah. seven. Hagloblis. Lip. Phil. If you can only choose one, mechanics or positioning, which do you think is more important? Definitely positioning. I mean, if, you're, if your positioning is off, I mean, it's just there's no chance. Absolutely no chance. Okay. Um, and then question number eight. When you started this game, what is one thing that you wish you knew? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I kind of... Give it to him, baby. Yeah, stay puffed. <laughs> I wish I knew more about like aerials and That's just practicing them more because I'm still really bad at them, but I've gotten better. I might. But just kind of more practicing the the harder stuff and trying to get that down because it's a big part of the game. At that at these top levels, it's make or break yeah. once you miss uh, an aerial. It really is, especially as I and, yeah, demote more and more every day. 
And that's why my tag is a tactical whiffer, because I try, but I whiff. <laughs> Fantastic. Questions 9 and then 10. A little introspective. What is your biggest weakness? Definitely aerials. Anything off the wall. I try, but I'd say my my rate on hitting them is probably like 50%, if that. I mean, it's, I just, I, it's hard to get that down. Okay, do you think that's improving as time goes on? Definitely has improved. I mean, if you can imagine what it was like when I first started the game, I didn't hit anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it definitely has improved just from just from trying. Even if it means I'm you know missing a lot, I just you know practice makes perfect. So I'm just trying out there. All right, and then question number ten, the flip side of that, Haglobless Lip. Yes. What is your biggest Lanes. strength in Rocket League? <laughs> Try hard mode. Whew. Biggest strength. Uh. uh there's going to be so many key moments to this game. <laughs> I got it. Probably communication. Okay. Um, big into talking and just, uh, you know, always calling stuff out where the ball is and rotating and stuff like that. So it, it makes it a lot easier when you're talking compared to just pure silence. <laughs> that is a phenomenal set of answers. What we're going to do is we're going to see how these questions hold up overlaid on top of the game that we're going to play, and then the next time people hear my voice after this is going to be me and you sitting down looking at a few key moments. You think you're going to be ready for that? Oh, I will be ready. Perfect. We'll be right back for all of you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the interview, but we have a little bit of bonus footage with some overtime coming up. Let's take a watch. Hope you enjoy it. Ooh. I've got 12. Go, blues. baby! Ah! Best fake, dude. Oh. Let's go. Oh. I hit him, I messed him up. I got it. Oh, I don't got no. it. I don't have boost. Damn it. What's up, everyone? We are back with part two. I'm here with Haglobulous Lip, kicking off season two. Are you ready to watch your replay back? I am ready. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> now, first thing that, that comes out, and this is just something that, is, that has caught my attention right away, and it's not that early goal. Um, your camera view is pretty close. Have you ever messed around with your camera at all? Yeah, I've, I've tried, and it completely throws me off. I mean, I whiff a lot now, but, like, when I changed it, I was just a disaster. Okay. How much time did you give yourself with that camera change, if you don't mind me asking? Probably about a day. Okay. Hey, that's more, more than most people last. Um, <laughs> and key moment number one is going to be right after we, we tie it up right here. Let's take a look. I want to know... What's going through your mind in this situation right here? You're going to see this ball right now. You versus the goalie. It's going down. What are you thinking? I'm thinking just to try and get as good of a hit on as I can, just to blast it past him. Hopefully he doesn't get caught up and make the save. Okay. We're going to hit it just a little bit wide, but I'll ask you, what do you think you could have done differently? Do you wish you didn't shoot in that situation? Do you wish you shot differently? What's the mindset? Yeah, it, I wish I would have hit it at a different angle. It's just uh, sometimes if I'm a little out of control or going too fast, I hit the ball just completely horribly. And okay. That's, that's one I wish I had back. Well, speaking of wishing that you had one back, that is a terrible terrible series of events right there and that ball's gonna bounce in right off of the save of my car but you know what we we pick it up and we don't quit right Haglobulus 
No, no, Hoglobus does not quit. We're going to see kind of a, 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 a big, dare I say, cluster nearly going on with, with your car turning in this scenario, three cars all right touching the ball. What, what was the end goal of this challenge right here? Uh, I guess really just to keep it on our side. I, it was just looked like a, like a cluster of nothing. So I was just going to really try and hit it left if I could maybe get in front of the goal and try and sneak one in. Okay. In this, in this scenario, are you thinking, hey, your teammate might be passing me the ball? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll give you a hint. I want to say he was trying to do that. We're going to see that ball come up in the air. Teammate's going to slot it home. Did it work out the way you wanted it to? Are you happy that you turned and kept the ball down there? Yeah, 100%. 100%. I mean, and so it's all about taking those risks. I mean, you know, it could have backfired if I would have missed or hit it wrong, but uh, it was definitely a... A good decision on my part, I feel like. Okay. And that's the whole idea behind the series is that there's there's moments where you, you know, you did something in it and it, it worked out unbelievably well. Myself in that situ situation, I probably would have turned. That's a great save there, too. Um, Thank you. But it just goes to show how different each play style is and how you can learn from, you know, a multitude of teammates. But the important thing is that we keep learning about what we're doing. So key moment number three, right here, you see this ball coming down. Hagloblis, do you remember this moment? I, I don't. I do not remember this moment. <laughs> uh, all right. So it goes one of two ways, good or bad. What are you thinking in this situation? I'm thinking just putting my body in front of it and trying to keep it in the corner uh, until, you can, until you can recover and get to it. I'm just trying to delay delay them putting in front of the goal so dare i say up in that left hand top corner we're gonna see a great pass mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. I, I completely with that one yeah what what do you, what would you have liked to have done differently besides not miss uh, i mean yeah i mean i probably wouldn't have done anything different like that was just my mindset was getting my body in front of it and i unfortunately just didn't execute okay fantastic to hear i i also i think just it was there but it you know it just didn't come off quite the way you wanted it to but stay it doesn't puffed. Matter because you get to see stay puffed just 20 seconds <laughs> later after they score we're tied up once again key moment number four we're gonna see a nice little teammate right there a nice little pass from that teammate you're up in the air right now we're going for a save attempt a little bit of a spoiler Unfortunately, you're not going to reach it, but I want to know as you're going up, what's going through your mindset? Are you thinking about just a shot? Is is the a teammate in the back of your mind? Are you well, confident knew, in your mechanics? Like like what's going on? I knew I was out of position, and I thought I would just try my hardest just to get up and try and make some kind of contact with it, even if I ended up missing. I knew you were. I saw you coming underneath me, so I was just trying to. Trying to get any touch on it, I could. Okay. Just no. the, uh, the, the, yeah, I didn't do a good <laughs> job again up, but you got a great save. I appreciate that. My question for you, because this is, again, one of those key, one of those moments where I go, hey, I think a certain way, you might think a different way. Would you still attempt that? Would you still go up in that situation? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I would definitely do it. It's all about trying, and, I mean, every millisecond counts toward you know, getting even letting your teammate get back into a position to make a save, because uh, I knew you're, you're going to be in the goal. So I was I was trying anything I could just to get a get a touch on it. So I would definitely do it again, 100 percent every time. All right, and I like that mindset. See, I I'm a big fan of that one. Ball's coming in on goal. You got to do what you got to do. But that comes into key moment number five. This is the big one. This is the important one. I see two orange team members coming for this ball maybe special k is going to grab some boost and and whip around but i want to know what's going through the mind of a globless lip in this scenario going through my mind in these like in these scenarios where the ball's in the corner i try and hit it off the wall so it goes back in front of their goal that's okay. always just that's just how i play i don't try and get back and make a save i just always i, I usually try and just hit it off the wall and angle it back in front of the goal for a for us to try and score. I mean, that's just my aggressive type of play. And 
in short, the idea is, hey, let's get contact on the ball. We'll see if we can mess something up. Just any touch yeah. is better than no touch. Okay, I like that. Let's take a look at what happens, and then I'm going to ask you if you're happy with that outcome. It looks like you clear backwards. Your teammate actually is going to get demoed, and and you're going to have you're going to keep control of that possession. Are you happy with that? Is that is that okay, or do you kind of wish that you slapped it back into the middle? Uh, I mean, ideally, if uh, my timing was better, it would I would have got to it faster and hit it back in front of their goal. But I'm still happy. I mean, it led to them not scoring. Yeah. I got to be honest, that possession move is stuff that you see in, in very high ranks to keep the ball, make sure that they can't do it. I thought it was phenomenal. I really did. So, yeah. five key moments, right? We got We got a little bit of the game left. We're going to see teammate come in, not get that shot off. I say we cut him from the team, but we're still here to talk about you. All right? <laughs> now, knowing that there's, you know, 10 seconds left in this game, we're going to go into overtime. With what you've seen so far, would you change anything that happened? Uh, Gameplay-wise, no. Uh, I wish my mechanics, my execution were better so I can get to some of those balls that I whiffed on, but... Okay. So far, no, I feel like the game's been played really well. We're in it. We we are in it. And I think I mentioned this before we started recording, but obviously from the first part of the video, we're going to see that it doesn't quite pan out for our team. But that shouldn't change question number two. And this is the whole point of the series. Overall, the decisions you made, despite your teammate blowing this save coming up right here, are you happy with the decisions that you made in this game? Yeah, I wouldn't take any of them back at all. I like the confidence. It, it's the mindset of an assassin who will be Grand Champ in no less than two weeks. I sincerely believe that. Do you believe Grand Champ right around the corner? I do. I do. Guavos is going for it. <laughs> Fantastic to hear. Uh, I cannot thank you enough for coming on. But before we go, I let anyone and everyone talk about something that they might want to talk about. They might want to plug. Is there anything going on in your life? You know, Rocket League related, video game, t social media. Maybe you just want to tell people to donate blood because of what you do. Anything at all. It's your moment. Go for it. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh critical need for blood at all times it, it seems like that's something that is very abundant but it takes people going to actually doing it so maybe hitting up the red cross it's a very simple process and uh usually they have some type of gift or you know reward associated with it just for a couple hours of your time um people are receiving multiple units of blood every day and they're running extremely short and if you have rare blood that's even better so Definitely go and check that out. Hit up the Red Cross's website. Fantastic. And if, you want to add, and if, you, and if anyone wants to add me on uh, Xbox, I play a lot of games. A Guadalupe Lip, as you see it. And, uh, yeah, maybe we can game sometime. Fantastic. What I'll do just because of the type of person you are. I was just – I'm glad that you mentioned the blood thing. I didn't quite think it was going to go in that direction. But agreed. There's always a need for blood. Uh, I will put your gamer tag down below – if anyone wants to add you, they're more than welcome to do that. I think you can have up to 500 friends or something like that. You'll play with every single one of them. Um, and just for the heck of it, if you give me an okay off of camera, maybe I'll even throw your Twitter down below too. One more time, thank you so much. Let's just talk about some quick key moments, some final thoughts, and then everyone can be on their day. See ya. All right. See ya. New border, new season, let's get it. Quick takeaways. Number one, communication is key. If you have a mic and you're able to talk to your teammate, make sure to do so. If you don't have that option, use those quick chat options and do whatever you can to make it work, but communicate. Number two, take risks. It's the only way that you're going to get better. It's really that simple. And number three, honestly, if you can, if you're willing Try to donate blood. It's amazing how much that really can help people. And I'm glad that Phil talked about it a little bit longer than uh, than what I originally expected. So finally, big thank you to Phil. If you like the video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. 
If you want to see more of this, there should be new episodes out real soon. Feel free to subscribe. If you want to get involved, which is what I really want people to do this season, get involved. Drop a comment down below. Let's talk about the episode a little bit. On that note, see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.